What's going on everybody? It's your boy Ascalon. Welcome to Resident Evil 8. Or, as other people call it, some people call it, Capcom calls it, I don't know, Resident Evil Village. Um, I admit, before we dive into it, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a playthrough video uh, or video series of this game. Um, my boy talk, Tokes talked me into it. Um, I did not play Resident Evil 7. I watched uh, YouTubers play it. And so, um, I was unsure about this one, but he told me it was kind of similar to Resident Evil 4, which is my favorite Resident Evil game. And so, I decided to give it a try. I guess the reason why I was unsure was because of the first person aspect of it, like when it comes to, you know, action and stuff like that. I mean, I, I can play first person games, but I typically prefer third person over the shoulder, especially when I got a fight and there's action, okay? But we're going to dive into this one, and I know I'm going to enjoy it because it is Resident Evil. Um, just a warning before I get into it, there's going to be language, there's going to be a lot of violence. I mean, it's a Resident Evil game, um, so you can expect that. So if that's not your cup of tea, then uh, you can check out some of my other playthrough videos like Mundown um, and KOTOR. Um, which, by the way, i got to get back into KOTOR, but I will eventually. Alright, enough talk. Let's get into it. Alright, let's see. Let's check out options really quickly guess these will be okay for right now mm -hmm. subtitles on I got some special stuff alright alright casual standard hardcore village of shadows which um, I got I think the deluxe edition of this game and so it came with that difficulty I definitely don't want to start with that one let's just go standard I may play back through it later at Hardcore or in Village of Shadows, see if I can beat those. Alright. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. It's like a fairy tale beginning. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. This is the odd. bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. It's like Tim Burton Mother's worried cries directed this. As fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, Why was it menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful cool animation, dress. Though. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate. She's and a hungry little girl. <laughs> joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Okay, that was not what I was expecting. Gifts we gave, but more you took. She's not. Oh, it's a story. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There, she's asleep. It's a creepy story to be reading to your with infant. A creepy story. She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. 
You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. The little girl got a big head. <laughs> It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Nice house. Oh, when I look down, I was trying to look at the diapers. Saw the little girl, little big head. I'm assuming I gotta go that way, but let's see what's over here. I like to explore. Hope I don't wake the baby. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Really awesome graphics in this game. I'd heard a lot about that. I heard it has some um, pretty impressive graphics. Mom got you another new book? Yeah, little girl needs to learn how to read. And enjoy it. A lot of my students don't like to read. Protect. Tell me that. Oh, okay, that was as close as it can get. Mia. What a miracle. Three years ago, I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. Music, like some elevator music going on here. <sighs> Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has. I don't know if you guys could hear that like I heard it, but it was, it like came, when Mia spoke, it came um, in through my right ear. <laughs> All right, that leads back out into the hall. All right, let's see what else we got here. You hungry? No? Maybe later then. Um, she's asleep, Ethan. Don't get too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. Okay, all right. I won't get close to you. Mia makes everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. <laughs> the the jar label looks like it's got the Gerber baby on it. <laughs> All right. Oh, whoop. Examine. Rose's food. February. The sixth, rice cereal, banana puree. Seventh, sweet potato puree, boiled spinach and cream. Ethan, don't give her any sugar or honey. And no mushrooms. No mushrooms. Okay. Hurry up and put Rose to sleep, will you? Mushrooms are gross anyways. Alright, I think this goes in a big circle right here. Yeah, I think this hallway leads back to that room I was in earlier if I go to the right. Yeah. Man, I'm good. Beautiful. Hopefully. Can I leave? Hey. Keep it down. Just oh. making sure it's locked. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. <laughs> Nothing's in there. All right, let's roll upstairs. Uh oh. There, there. It's like Just I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Yeah, that book was a little weird for an infant. Try to go in this room first. Ooh, a bathroom. Cool shower. It's got me want to play The Sims 4 and design this house in uh, The Sims. I may have to, like, start the game over and, like, come back and, like, pay attention to how things look. I'll just say, Mia's medication. She's been on a strict regimen ever since the incident. I bet. Those type of sinks seem to be really popular nowadays. Alright. 
There's a lot of stuff to look at here. Song so much. Uh oh, I'm gonna wait to maybe open this crap. Watch. Cause <laughs> she's smiling. <laughs> Apparently, she likes it too. All right. I wonder if I should go down that hallway. Let's look over here first. A lot of plants up here. I'm stepping into a jungle. <coughs> Gotta right, do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. This is an odd room. Historical look into the architecture of Eastern European castles and keeps by George Trevor. Okay. Some of that stuff doesn't stay on the screen long enough for me to read it. I have to click on it like multiple times. Yeah, this is like the catch-all room right here. <laughs> Curtains closes on the Dolby gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the Dolby toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. They concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up in the mud rock under the area. Area. Jack Baker, 57, and his family who were exposed to the gas perished. So that's the story they're putting out. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to be he, to be have been were also believed to be have been. The English teacher in me notices that that doesn't sound right, but their current whereabouts are unknown. The entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. Everyone's forgotten about this already. And if you have ever seen Resident Evil 7 or played Resident Evil 7, you know that Ethan and his wife went through a lot of crap for them to cover it up. It's just a gas leak. I stink sometimes, like when you know the truth about something. Almost there, honey. Alright, so... Okay, so she sleeps also in their room. Because I was wondering, I was like, surely that wasn't their bedroom, the one that was all jacked up and full of stuff. Alright. Oh, I can close it. Close it. Alright, there's our bed. Let's see what's over here real quick. A master bathroom. Oh, no. It's like a little sitting area. A little office. February 6th, 2021. Me and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago when she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly, but I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hell hole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives without, with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Okay, here's a little diary. Name, Rosemary Winters. Date of birth, 2-8-2020. Height, centimeters and inches. Weight, all that good stuff. F 14 pounds, man, it's a big baby. Screenings. Oh, I guess this might, this might be after... Um, she was born, like not at birth. I was about to say 14 pounds is a lot. Screenings, hearing, vision, touch, reflex tests. All result, results show no issues. Patient is in good health. Other notes, results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by BSAA, Applefield Memorial Hospital. BS, <laughs> BSAA no, is, is uh, Chris Redfield's group, if I remember correctly. <laughs> oh, she woke up for like a second now she's back asleep <laughs> gun survivalist a heavy firearms manual it's paranoia if they're really out to get you for field combat situations by joseph kendo all right <laughs> that's cool So if I hit it that way, it goes that way. I don't think anything else is that way, so let's keep going. Can't read what's on the page. I 
I wish it could stay like this forever. All right. Is everything? All right. I think it's time to put her down finally. I think I've explored everything in the house. Me. She's scary when she's angry. Oh, wait. Rose's clothes for the morrow. All right. Time for bed. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. One of those fairy tale monsters is going to have something to do with uh, the enemies and villains in this game. I'm pretty sure that was a, a little bit of foreshadowing there. Wow, he moves pretty quickly. Whoa. All right. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. It's chorba de lagum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. <sighs> it's just. Finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> What just happened? Mia, get down. Mia! Oh my goodness! Oh my... Oh well! Whoa! That picked up pretty fast! Dang... Mia... Oh god! Who's that? Oh my goodness... Chris? Is that Chris? Sorry, Ethan. No! Okay, I think you shot her enough, what? dude. All right, welcome to Resident Evil 8. <laughs> Go on, move. Oh, you better not hurt Rose. All clear. Rose? Why is Chris? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Like bad. If I can secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Rose. Get him out here. Man, they messed me up and... Chris is like a bad guy? Like, that ain't right. That ain't right. Chris is like a hero. He's like the hero of Resident Evil. Leon's cooler though, but I like Chris too. But not anymore. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey now, think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine, I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just- Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Man, 
that stinks after all they went through in Resident Evil 7. My little angel. Um, escaping all of that for her to get gunned down like that. Oh, that stinks. And by Chris Redfield, too. That's weird. Wonder if he if he's like under the influence of something. Like somebody's controlling him or something. Jesus. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off the Fuck. What the hell happened to you? I wonder if that was an auto save that circle there. Mission objectives eliminate target, recover body, secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. So, for some reason, they wanted the two, two of them, um, but not Mia. Move the two Winterses to site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Well, it looks like somebody attacked. It's useless. Alright, do I have a weapon or anything over here? Can I crouch? Okay. Anything in here? Nope, can't go in there. Alright. Let's see. Um, I can't go that way. Alright, so this way it is. So I'm like in the middle of nowhere. And it's cold. Um, this is about as fast as I can move. Cool shadow there. Earlier, Ethan said something about military training, so I'm assuming, like, he knows how to do more stuff than he did in Resident Evil 7, because he was just a guy trying to survive in that game. Alright, where am I going? I can barely see, even with the flashlight. I don't know where I'm going. Alright, here's some sort of... <laughs> it says do not enter. Well, I'm going. Of course, cut my hand. <laughs> you clumsy boy, Ethan. Alright. Okay. So the right stick is to crouch. Oh, it sounds like something's in this woods with me. I don't like the sounds that I'm hearing. What is that? It's like a dead bird? But yeah, these are like crows. Ew. What? Oh, what in the world? I guess I need to go this way. Nope, I can't go that way. Alright, let's keep going this way then. I can barely see. Oop. Oh gosh. Uh, uh. Stupid birds. Gosh, that was terrifying. Alright, where do I go? So it's hard so hard to see. Got a feeling something's gonna attack me soon. Alright. Is that a bridge? What was this? Okay. Oh, there we go. I thought the other thing was a door.
Let me see something real quick. Okay, so there's nothing about save. So I guess it auto saves. Anything in that bag? Okay, here we go. Oh, can't grab the rope? Guess not. Oh, that was a waste of time. Ugh, it's dirty water. I don't like this at all. That looks like Mia's medications. It's weird. Oh my goodness, what was that? Why did he open that so slowly? Okay. Nothing there. Alright. Oh gosh, I don't like those sounds that I'm hearing. Oh, why did this have to throw me right into terror? Oh, I guess I'm going down. Great. Oh, nice deer head. What is that? Dead plant? Hello? Anybody here? It's just me, Ethan. Just coming to say what's up. Oh, what is that? So the religious symbol. What are those noises that I'm hearing? Who else is in here with me? Show yourself. Oh, that's bloody. I was just waiting for the jump scare. Stupid rat. Um, I don't know where to go. What? What was that? Oh, I thought it was stuck for a second. Okay, what was that? Where do I need to go? Do I need to go back up? I guess so. Oh gosh. Is it a fox? Okay. Well, can I move that? Oh, I can go under it. Oh gosh, that's terrifying. Who put all this stuff there? What did all this? Um, I take it I'm gonna have to go and investigate that, and I really don't want to. Is that, did that? Yeah, I already opened that before, didn't I? I think. Let me double check. Yeah, that was the thing with the rope. All right, I guess I'm going through the mysterious opening. Looks like it's daylight. All over. <laughs> Looks really cool though. Oh, stupid crow. Some sort of like windmill over there. Alright, I guess I gotta go that way. Anything on the ground right there? Alright. Oh, I thought it was gonna like slide down it. That castle in the distance is pretty impressive. There we go. 
That's gonna slide down at some point. Am I in the village? Oh, dead horse. Nice. Anybody in there? Or just board it up. It's a door right there, though. Oh, I can go in here too. I'll just look in here, then I may try that other door really quick. Need a weapon. Alright, there's that doorway. Hold on. Let's go back. Somebody's maybe, crib. Maybe they're out. <laughs> I don't think anybody lives here anymore. Well, place is like smashed apart. Like some sort of like weather phenomenon ripped through here, like a tornado or something. Whoa. Wait, did that come from that way? What's this way? Go that way or continue through this place. Let's continue through this place first. Alright, man, this is terrifying already. Just need some kind of other item. Alright. So an outhouse? Okay, not go inside of it. Oh, I was just trying to take a poop and couldn't because there's stuff in it. Okay. Those crows are annoying. Do not enter. Um, I don't think I want to enter. Right, there's a path that way. This is takes take me back to where I was. Man, maybe a bomb went off here. What was that? Hello? Alright, nothing. This is fully daylight now. Somebody talking. Sound like some sort of music or something. Some kind of music. Oh, now we got goat heads. Wonder if they're gonna talk like Mundown. What so happened? Spoiler alert if you haven't played that game. And there's a sign here Graveyard Workshop Ceremony Site. Um, none of those sound appealing to me at all. Wait. I thought that was a door. What is that noise? Hmm. Something's lit right there, so that's telling me I definitely will probably be going that way. Is this the do not enter thing? Locked due to missing homeowner. Okay. Locked. Hi, Rooster. Alright, let's go in here. I think it's leading me here. Some force could break it. Okay. What well, can I, like, punch and kick it? Oh, there's my inventory. Crafting. I have nothing. Key items, family photo, a picture of me and Rose, treasure. Alright. Oh, left bumper blocks. Oh gosh. 
I guess I'll come back and get that later. Knife. Ooh, hi. Oh gosh, I'm about to have to fight. I just know it. First aid mid. Open inventory, which I've already done. Oh, kind of like inventory slots, similar to like older Resident Evil games. Like they take up a certain amount of space. Okay, looks like I got a decent amount. All right. Is that a green herb? I don't know if this game has green herbs. Did they just run out of the house? Ew. It's nasty. Oh gosh, I got a bad feeling about this. Oh no, no. gosh. Friendly. Oh gosh. Friendly. Oh. Who are you? Dude. Who sent you? Nobody. Luckily, he's a bad There's shot. An down on the road and... What's going on? Is that a dragon? Am I really playing Game of Thrones? Oh, no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? You have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? How in the world did he not hit him when he shot at him? Take it! Take it! Tell me it's out there. Hey, are you listening? Hey! Oh, okay. What the? What just grabbed me? Dead body? Wait, there's more. Oh gosh. Oh, I don't like this at all. Like, why? Why do I want to examine this dude? He's dead. Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with this place? Hi. Someone's still alive over there. Oh gosh. Ah, get back. Get back. Did I kill it? Oh, oh gosh. I thought it was dead. Oh gosh. Hey. Oh gosh. I suck at shooting. Get back. How many bullets does it take to kill this thing? Do I have to shoot it? Do I just run? Oh gosh. What? It's dead? Can I like stomp what on its head? Just wasted like all my bullets. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I hate that. Gosh, it's like some sort of werewolf creature. The crap was that? Okay, how do I get out of here? Okay. Oh, man. I don't like this at all. What is this? Herb. Oh, there are green herbs. Okay, a few materials that can be crafted. Oh man, my gun takes up like six spots. Okay, so herb and chem fluid. Select the item to craft. Do I want to go ahead and craft that now or do I want to wait? Oh, I don't have chem fluid. <laughs> That's why it's red. All right. 
Oh, there's skin fluid. Craft first aid mid. Open the inventory to craft first aid mid. Oh, okay. Ooh, achievement. Crafter. Craft an item in the crafting menu. Alright. Hey, buddy. Alright, I guess I'll go this way. What's in here? Oh, gosh. Oh, cutters. Key items. EQ I key items in the inventory. Okay. So these don't go these don't take up my inventory space, okay. Okay, I'm sure the bolt cutters, just like every game, Resident Evil is gonna come in handy. Alright. Did the guy leave? Oh gosh. I've already crossed this before. Man. I don't want to go in there. Can I just leave? Can I just leave this nightmare? I don't want to go in that house. I'm probably going to have to go through that house. Yep. Knew it. Alright, I've got six bullets. How do I switch to the... How do I switch to the knife? Shortcut. Alright, so knife will be... Left side. Alright, there we go. Alright, I don't know how effective this knife is, but... I don't want to waste the last six bullets that I got. I don't know, man. It took a lot of shots to kill those things. Let's stop by itself. Alright, sweet. More bullets. Go ahead and reload. Alright, I got 10 now. Still want to keep the knife for right now. Right. You can barricade do doors with shells. Oh, let's do that. How do I do that? Alright, that'll keep something from coming in. That was very dramatic and unnecessary. Come through it. Oh gosh. Look at that. Alright, anyways. So, that's part one. Resident Evil 8, Resident Evil Village. Man, my heart's pumping fast. Uh, that was terrifying, but I'll get the hang of it. Um, I love how they just drop you right in and you got to start figuring stuff out, exploring stuff. And you're kind of like, you feel like Ethan, you're like, what the heck is going on here? Um, so thank you guys for watching. Um, definitely be playing more of this. So look for that soon. Um, I got a new computer coming at the end of the month. So I'll be able to edit faster. It's a lot faster than my current computer. And so I hope I can get, you know, more and more videos out a lot faster. So just forgive me. Things may be a little slow on uh, my playthroughs um, as far as getting content out, but I'm getting it out as quickly as I can. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Looking forward to part two. Looking forward to continue uh, Monday down and uh, other playthroughs that I got going on. Y'all take care. Peace.